What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with our annual massive box full of horror action figures. We got some great stuff this year. Very excited for this. We get into it every single year, and I always enjoy it. It's always just one of my favorite videos that we do every year. I love Halloween. I love horror. I love the genre. You're mixing two of my favorite mediums, horror and action figures together. You get some great stuff, and today, we are going to dive into the massive box. Man, we got some good additions here this year, and I'm excited, man, so just sit back, relax, enjoy the figures, and let's dive into what we got this year, man. Let's start things off with a newer figure that I don't think we've seen here on the channel before. It is going to be none other, missing her top right here or her hood, we have none other than Valak from the Nun or the Conjuring franchise, of course, but very nice figure right here. I don't even, I don't think this is a NECA figure. NECA may have made one, but I don't think this is a NECA figure. I do believe it's one of the cloth ones, or it may actually be NECA. I'm not sure, but legs are very very weird, actually. Look how skinny, and the, I gotta be honest with you, this figure doesn't stand very well. It's honestly kind of trash in that way, but it looks really good. Like, let's get into the face right here. Really good face sculpt, and you get two interchangeable heads. It's very nice. I like this figure a lot, and very creepy, you know? My brother used to have the painting up in his room. Used to freak the hell out of me, and I was yeah, I was an adult at this time. It, it still scared the shit out of me. But Valak is looking good. I think she is gonna participate in the MDT Tournament of the Damned, which is our horror action figure match tournament. So stay tuned for that if you guys are interested in that. I do believe she's competing this year. Next up, guys, we do have our holiday fiend figure from the Misfits. Now, if anything, I'm just gonna call this the Crimson Ghost, you know, kind of giving me those vibes, but very cool paint detail right here on the face, as you guys can see, and he does have the removable Santa hat, which I think is awesome. I do believe the same company that made this figure made the Nun figure, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but articulation, you know, these are kind of just for your display pieces. You're not gonna get a ton of articulation. They have very weird legs, but the cloth goods on here are nice. The Santa hat's nice. It's just one of those weird figures, but it's a cool piece. I like it, and it's a good addition here this year. Now, this right here, this mini box right here that you guys are gonna notice in this little mini box right here. We have a bunch of horror icons. I do want to get into this. Now this this right here is last year's MDT Tournament of the Damned Horror Championship Series. This is our full tournament, I do believe, in which Jason Voorhees did bring home the gold. Actually, just hold on one second. Now this right here is last year's winner. If you guys can see this, this is the first iteration of the MDT Horror Championship. It's kind of like a take on the hardcore title, but it says horror instead, and it's got blood all over it, which I thought was really nice. But then last year, I redesigned it, and I took the Fiend championship and painted up this right here and made a new horror championship and Jason Voorhees won the whole thing. This part 7 by NECA very beautiful figure right here. I love this figure. This part 7 Jason ended up winning the tournament last year defending Michael Myers in the finals. Now I am going to do a video detailing the full tournament again. I don't think we're going to have the same participants. We're going to have a new tournament. We're going to have new participants. Should be a very fun tournament but Jason will be back in the tournament trying to defend his championship and it should be really fun but Jason was our champion last year and he looks like a beast. I gotta show you the trophy as well. Here was the trophy last year. You see it's just like a regular wrestling championship and then I put the machete on there with the head going through and we do have all this blood and gore going on right here. Very sweet trophy and Jason Voorhees brought this home last year. So may make a new trophy. Should I make a new trophy? I feel like I should. We'll see about that but Jason was the champion last year. Let's get into last year's participants. Last year we did have Scream right here. We have Ghostface. Very cool. I like this figure a lot as well. Cloth goods are nice. This one was actually made by NECA so it feels really nice. NECA the figures don't stand the best, but this is a really great piece. It's beautiful. The cloth goods are nice, and I like it. I think it does a great job, and you get a lot of great interchangeable parts with it. It's a, it's a good piece. I like this, this ghost face NECA figure. Next up, we do have Leatherface, and Leatherface, you guys can see, is a blood-soaked mess, and honestly, he's pretty sticky still from last year. Looks like the, the handle broke off the chainsaw right here, but at least we have the, the one handle. I don't know, but he's done in the crimson mask. He's a bloody mess. This is a really good piece as well, but it still doesn't stand the best, but, you know, the neck Neck is all about the details, and they got good details on here, but this Leatherface is a pretty great figure. Next up, we do have Chucky and his bride. Chucky and Tiffany looking really good right here. I love the detail on this head sculpt for Chucky, but this is a great two-pack. I do believe it was a two-pack. I think it came with interchangeable arms. It came with all kinds of great accessories, but these are great pieces right here. This is probably my favorite Chucky head sculpt they made, but really good details on these. These are very small, too, compared to the rest, which is great because they actually scale well. Next up is one of the many Pennywise figures. Now, you guys will notice his hand hands are missing and his leg is missing and if you guys don't know why that is you need to go watch the action figure match with 
him and Freddy Krueger, I think it was, from last year's tournament. But this is a very great figure. They've re-released this like a hundred million times, you know, so it had interchangeable heads. It had all kinds of different stuff here, but I mean, his body part, like body parts everywhere. Great head sculpts. I mean, NECA legitimately released like five of them, I'm pretty sure. Right off the cuff, I'm pretty sure it was like five different versions, and it may even be more, but those are great figures as well, even though we've gotten it a million times now. We do have a couple Michael Myers figures from the new Halloween. As you guys know, the Halloween Ends is coming this October. The two different versions here, one's customized, or one got drilled through by Jason Voorhees in the finals last year. So yeah, we don't leave any stone on turn, man. If we have to destroy figures, we gotta destroy figures, but these Michael Myers look great. Love the details, love the mask. Very cool figures indeed, and I think they do a pretty good job on their Michaels. Next up is Pinhead or Hellraiser. Also a bloody mess. He used to have, like, all these details on it, but I do think they, like, fell off or were removed. He had, like, these claws and hooks all through him, but it is also another cloth goods here. Some nice sculpt detail on the legs and stuff like that, but you do have Pinhead here. We have one of the best Freddy Krueger figures they made. Got the screaming head sculpt. Got the hat. I do believe the hat was black, but I lost it somewhere, but this is a pretty nice figure. Again, nice realism to them. I think they're brilliant. We have the OG Pennywise here with the melting face. Very great colors on this guy. Love this figure. This is probably one of my favorite NECA figures they've done. And then we do have a part two Jason who also has blood detail on his face. Jesus Christ. Or did it come that way? I don't even remember that, but the plaid is nice. The colors are good on it. Very nice part two Jason. Honestly, they need to release a part one Jason in kid form. And they need to do that from NECA. I know they've done it in the past. I do believe they made a cloth figure, but they need to redo that. And then we also have the Valak interchangeable head sculpt there. Jesus Christ. Then outside of that, we do have uh, some weapons, and then we have a machete here, but yeah. Anyways, moving on. Now moving along, man, we do have a Freddy versus Jason Jason, which was just very goofy. Like, look at this head sculpt. Very goofy looking Jason, to be honest. He had the platform boots on. Pretty nice figure. I mean, it is accurate to the movie. It's just, uh, I don't know. I didn't really care for that look of Jason too, too much. We also have a Santa sack from our Holiday Fiend. Maybe that'll come into the tournament at one point. We have, I do believe this is a part three Jason. His mask fell off somewhere, but why does he have freaking powder all over him? Or he just looks so damn dusty, man. Looking rough. But I guess it adds to the realism of the character, but these are really nice figures. They have really great articulation and stuff like that. Always enjoy taking these out and posing them around. They actually have a lot more articulation than you would think. We have Big Daddy right here, man. This figure right here is a unit, and I gotta, I gotta back this up. I do believe this figure is like hundreds of dollars. It moves around great. It has this massive drill on it. It has workable lights, I do believe, and it is just a unit. Great details. If you're a Bioshock fan, man, this right here, this is, it like look at me right there. It looks like a baby doll, the way I'm holding the legs right here. It is massive, and it's even got the tank on there. Great details. Fantastic stuff, I do believe. You can, yeah, look at that. You get all your different modes. Very cool stuff, man. Operational lights, great details, great articulation. Probably the best figure in this box, to be honest with you, but I was never really a Bioshock fan. This is actually my brother's figure, so. But I can, I can always appreciate a great figure regardless of uh, if I like the actual property or not, you know what I mean? So this is a great piece. Next up, we have a Part 7 Jason statue. I do believe this was by NECA. He's not holding the machete. Got kind of a rubbery hand there, and he is missing his mask. It's somewhere in the box, I'm sure, but you get two points of articulation, but it's a great little statue here. Pretty sure we have this in, like, six different sizes, so that's pretty cool, but Part Seven is our favorite look of, of Jason, so this is great right there. We also have our 2009 Friday the 13th sort of rebirth or remake here. He's got the bag head. I do believe we have a few of these. This is just the bag head version. Pretty unique take on Jason. He's got the machete on the side right there and it, it moves around pretty well. Kind of a different take on the character, but, you know, kind of a badass. I don't know why I said it that weird, but next up is part six, Jason. And this figure is really nice. He just has the worst loose legs of all time, man. Look at that. Look at that right there. Atrocious, but a great figure and a lot of people's favorite look of Jason. Not mine personally, but you know, there's that. We have another part seven, Jason. This figure is just so nice, man. With the fake chain, you got the mask on there. This is easily the best look of Jason. Just just the zombie rotting form. He's got the axe there. NECA did a great job on this, man. What a... Mm. Love this piece, which is why we have multiples, you know what I mean? Makes for a great display. Next up, we do have another new addition here. We have Frankenstein. This figure right here is insane, to be honest. I love the shackles. I love the gray and black and white shading he got going on. Love the details, great articulation. It's just, it, it feels really good in the hand, man. He's got his own st Jason Voorhees stiletto boots going, but or I guess you could say that Jason has the Frankensteins going on, but this is a great figure. Great, great figure. I think they nailed the likeness. I think that all the colors 
colors are nice. The shackles, man, the shackles are fantastic. Uh, what a what a piece. He could be a competitor this year. Next up, we have Michael Myers from Halloween Part 2, or Halloween 2, and I'm pretty sure his hand, is that broke off? Surely not. Surely it's just interchanged there. I can't remember what the pegs look like. Nonetheless, he got shot in the eye sockets there. Never liked the way that the mask fit in the second movie there. Nothing beats the OG, but it's still a pretty cool figure. It's, I mean, it's very similar to the others, and I'm sure they're not going to be done releasing them. We're probably going to get every version. Next up, we do have another Jason. We got plenty of Jasons, man. We got part threes, part fours. Got your jeans. Got your bleeding down the neck. Different face sculpts. Great sleeves and details. Bl blood going all over the place. I don't think this mask comes off of this head, unfortunately. It's like his face is glued down, but the straps aren't. What a terrible design. Next up, we have the Crooked Man. Looking like Mr. Meeseeks over here. But I love the suit. I like I like the body detail. Very cool figure, nonetheless. Like, very skinny. Great details. He's just... I feel like his legs are gonna snap, but look at this guy. Reminds me of a walking stick of something, but a very creepy character. Love the pinstripes. Awesome stuff. We have another Pennywise, and his head is gone. So, he's missing an arm and a head. It's somewhere down in there. We'll get into it, I guess, but we have another Pennywise figure. Great colors on that guy again, but he's missing his head. We have our video game version of Leatherface. Just what a weird release, right? You know, they're trying to fit in all the video game eras of each character. We also have Freddy. We have Freddy right here represented, and then we also have Jason down there. One of them's the SDCC exclusive, and one of them is not, but we'll get to those in a moment, but you do have Leatherface here. Very ugly design for a figure, but, you know, they're trying to get that cash grab, trying to get the reprints as much as possible. So you do have that version, and then you also have another Jason here. Next up, we have... Okay, so we have a Part 5 Jason, or Roy. You know, uh, not my favorite movie. I know a lot of people are like, a sta standalone movie, fine, but not my favorite Friday the 13th. I just can't buy into the thing there, but you do have the Demon Dog there, or Nightmare Dog, whatever you want to call it. Very ugly, but scares the hell out of you. Next up, we do have the Worms in the Mask here. Very cool interchangeable head sculpt. I thought this was brilliant. It gives you a bit of a different take. Next up, we do have our Bloodbath right here. I, Jesus, my mind just leaves me now exactly what this is supposed to be again, but hate to see it. Feels like yesterday I was doing this video, and now here I am doing it again, and I remember what it was, and now my mind's gone blank, but very cool. It's kind of a statue piece, but it's very detailed. I like, what a, like, I wish we got more stuff like this, man. Just the detail on this piece is just crazy. You got all this sculpted detail in the bathtub. Very nice. Next up, we have a giant axe or hatchet, which is pretty cool. It's got some blood stain on there. We have an alien figure. Now, that's one thing. Probably need to get, like, all the predators and alien figures and throw them in the box, but this figure is crazy, man. Like, you can open this up, and he even has another mouth that comes out of this mouth. You gotta be careful, though. Like, I just hurt myself doing that, but great articulation on here. Tons and tons of details. The colors are very nice. It's just a crazy piece. Like, I think this thing was, like, 20 bucks. I think I got it on clearance or something like that, and it's just, like, for 20 bucks to get this piece with all this detail and all this skeletal design and just the alien head, and it even has the mouth that comes out here. Wish I could get it to come out, but, like, look at that right there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. I know they had a ton of fun making this. Next up, we have a severed head lamp. Do believe this goes with that bloody bath. Cannot remember, but there's that. Next up, we have another remake, 2009, Friday the 13th, but he does have his, his actual hockey mask on this time, so, you know, trying to get all the different looks. You can add to the display if you have, you know, one with the bag, one with the mask, one without the mask, you know, trying to give you different display options all in one. Really creates the ultimate display. Next up, man, we do have our massive box of accessories. Now, this will probably be its own separate video, but just to give you guys a taste here, you open this up. It has all the different, it's not every single accessory or every single weapon, but this is most of the weapons that it come with all the different NECA figures. So we are going to probably detail this. If you guys would like to see that video, let me know down below. We'll detail every single one. You know, I'll try to give you exactly where, you know, each piece comes from and how you can obtain it if you guys would like it for your displays or whatever. But this is really awesome. Reminds me of the Terminator 3 when, uh, you know, they had the casket full of weapons. That's what that reminds me of. Next up, speaking of accessories, man, look at this right here. Another baggie full of accessories. If you guys would like a video detailing all this, we have all these different interchangeable heads, masks, accessories. I mean, you you name it, it's probably in there, man. So much stuff in here, and uh, that, that could be another video. But you got all your different heads, balloons, fire. I mean, it, it just it, the list goes on. And it looks like we have one more here. 
and yeah we got more accessories in here so i don't know it could be its own video we may you know dive into that you got the crooked man's umbrella in there and stuff so we'll see how that goes next up we have a gigantic jason mask i think that's a part seven from this statue where dude this thing is gigantic good god in heaven like look at this right here that's me holding the uh, like fills up the whole box this is a massive box and he takes up the whole thing but the details in the face are incredible just a fantastic sculpt you know the bigger you go the easier it is to get the details in there and they nailed it i mean they nailed this version they nailed this other statue they nailed the uh the you know the neck of full articulated one so that's one of the beasts in the box next up we do have our nurse freddy with his uh mask on way before it was cool and he's uh you know the same legs as the as the crimson ghost or the misfit or the holiday misfit fiend and then you got you know the the same as the valley like look at this guy jesus so you got old score articulation but the details in the hands and the glove and stuff are pretty cool and his mask is or not his mask but his hat is in there somewhere we have this little mini jason figure which is a great piece i talk about this every year i love these little mini figures great details on the face and stuff like that but you got the removable mask the axe it's just a nice little statue but it does have some articulation on it we got a gigantic jason head i believe that's from part four next up we have another jason and we have another jason over here this one's without the mask this time but tons of jasons man the, the we could make an ultimate jason display with all the different versions and you know different looks from different films we could do here is another pennywise we could use you got the do you believe that's the pull through the face head sculpt and he's got his uh hand on there need to get the big like tarantula monster version we have a gigantic freddy versus jason jason statue right here and i'm trying to get it on camera the best i can but here's the face sculpt it's kind of a statue but i think it has like two points of articulation maybe a little elbow swivel and shoulder swivel or rotation ugly looking face but it is like good god and heaven he's so massive he's taking out my stuff that's a big boy right there we have another one of those unique jason figures here with the mask again man these little figures are great especially for like displays on halloween because they're a little bit funky you know they're not just like your regular neck they have a like decent ab crunch in there you got good neck articulation very badass piece we have another jason figure with loosey-goosey legs like look at that right there we have another nightmare dog or demon dog right here every day for him is agony we have another freddy krueger right here kind of an old school he's missing his gloved hand i think i used it for a wrestling custom way back in the day now this one's unique we have the mezco 112 michael myers now i was pretty disappointed in this figure i just don't like the scale mezcos are just while the details are good i just feel like for the articulation you get and just the scale of them i just don't think it's worth the money you know that's just my opinion i don't know you guys can leave me your thoughts but i'd rather have the neca version over this one I do believe this piece came off of that alien figure we have a mini version of Big Daddy from Bioshock. Now, this is a great figure as well, but it's not near the scale. Now, it probably goes for the same price point because this figure, I do believe, is expensive. I could be wrong about that, but another great-looking piece. And I do believe it also had workable lights at one point, but, yeah, nowhere near the, the massive daddy version. We got another Jason figure here. We have Pyramid Head, who's missing a hand. This figure right here is god-awful. I hate this Pyramid Head. It is. I need to get a different one because this one's just brutally god-awful. I just... I, I, every time I see it, I just want to throw it against the wall. It's so loose and terrible. We have another Freddy versus Jason without the mask. I can't remember if this is number two or number three, but he also has. You guys know that after overtime NECA figures, they, they do lose their steam and their articulation. They'll get really loose on you, which sucks. But, you know, there's another Freddy versus Jason. Jason, here we are. We have another Mezco 112, but it is Jason here. And again, man, like, while they're cool and you get some cool details with this, it's just way too small for the price point, man. And again, the details are cool i like the cloth goods i like uh some of the details you get with these but for the price point that you get it's just not worth it in my opinion there's there's freddy's hat that we were talking about but yeah there's mesco jason uh here is our nes version here's our video game version of jason i do believe this is the re-release or maybe it's not the re-release oh my god in heaven how did this happen i don't know if you guys are seeing what i'm seeing but i do believe this is the sdcc version so you're telling me the sdcc version's legs 
have snapped off. Or maybe this is the SDCC version and the re-release is the translucent pair. I don't think it is though. Now, I don't know how this happened, but I want to say this is the SDCC version and it is broken. What in the hell? That was not me. I received it this way. Good God, the whole crotch is cracked. I'm gonna have to do some surgery on that. I can fix it, but that sucks eggs. There's the Big Daddy tank top right there. Yeah, I realize what I said. Now, this is money right here, man. The yelling part seven. Oh my God, man. With the buzzsaw or whatever the hell you want to call this. Great looking yelling head. I love this, man. This, this looks fantastic. What a great piece. I think this is our third one, but yeah, it's just so beautiful not to get again, man. Look at that right there with the operational spinning saw. Then we also have this massive Jason here, which is a fully articulated. I think this is a one one I don't even know one four scale I think maybe but it is a fully articulated figure it is the same exact figure that we've seen so many times in the khakis except it is fully articulated that's my hand on its thigh it is a ginormous piece it goes on top of the display because he's so big but it has great details as well it's literally the same exact figure just blown up but it is huge it is a huge 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 piece like my god but it's pretty badass. And then last but not least, I think this is the last figure, but we do have more little accessories in here, but we do have Annabelle in her box here, so I thought that was pretty cool. I love little diorama pieces like this, and any extra added stuff you get is really cool. So you have the breakaway or uh, operational door case with the chair, and then you do have the little Annabelle figure here. And I do believe she's fully articulated, so yeah, you can move the legs and stuff like that. She can actually operate her legs and... I don't think she has any, like, she's kind of like a basic figure, but you do get some cool pieces and stuff like that, and it, it, I don't know, it's pretty pretty underrated, to be honest. I was never really an Annabelle fan, but the, the figure is really cool. The, the, the case is what makes it. Oh, here's the last figure. We have another Chucky. So we have another Chucky here with the stitched up face, looking pretty good right there. I'm honestly surprised his leg hasn't fallen off or anything, but he looks good. Then we have kind of a replica Halloween knife here, a little bendy knife. I'm usually Michael Myers for Halloween this year. I will not be Michael Myers. That was the knife I used last year. And then we have little campfire accessory we have the little base stand i think the annabelle's box goes on we have the mini big daddy tank we have a massive jason mask for the one fourth figure one of those mini figures uh, with the cool articulation masks then we have some neca masks right here just laying at the bottom of the box multiple masks i mean when you have all those different jasons man and you get all the interchangeable heads and stuff you're going to end up with a ton of masks so these are really awesome you can put them on other figures we have a little mini jack-o-lantern we have freddy's hat we have another interchangeable jason head sculpt and then we do have the laughing pennywise head sculpt which looks really good really nice figure right there looks like we got a giant machete another mask another bloody machete and then a massive hatchet to go with uh, those massive jason figures again and then last but not least we have a pennywise red balloon with the bendy wire which is cool we have some hedge clippers that have some blood detail on them we have a massive spear which i do believe goes with our part three jason then we have a couple more masks here we have the part seven that's broken in half and then we have another other piece right here from Freddy vs. Jason with the Freddy scratches on it, I do believe. So that's everything in the box. But that pretty much wraps up everything in our massive box of horror action figures this year. Tons of figures, great stuff in here. We are going to do the MDT Tournament of the Damned, like I said before, man. So stay tuned for the details of that. We will be going over all of that. Getting all, getting into all the details, who the participants are, the different matchups, maybe a new trophy. If you guys want to see a new trophy, let me know down in the comment section below. But I like last year's trophy, man. Pretty epic stuff, but we will get into all those things, man. But I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. I hope you guys enjoy everything. Leave me your thoughts down below. What was your favorite? figure in the massive box this year leave me all your thoughts and all that stuff down in the comment section below but i'm getting the hell out of here i hope you guys enjoyed the massive box of horror figures video this year see you guys in the next video have a blessed day and i'll see you guys next time you cross